Hello and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, to Lovely. My name is Christina Lees and as you can probably hear, I don't have much of a voice. I've been sick all week and uh, I don't feel bad, but I sound terrible and I do a lot of uh, coughing. Um, today I am going to present two different recipes, uh, both involving carrots. I'm going to make carrot hot dogs and I'm going to make carrot smoked salmon or lox. Uh, in both cases, they require marinating overnight, um, but uh, there's some steps you do beforehand, so I'm going to do those for you now. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with the uh, smoked salmon, the carrots smoked salmon. I'm going to take a Pyrex cooking pan. I'm going to fill the bottom up with about a thick layer of salt. Um, I want it so the carrots don't touch the bottom of the glass at all. I have three carrots here that I just rinsed off. They're not peeled. Dog hair, ew. They're not peeled. But they're rinsed off and I'm going to lay them in this pan so they don't touch each other and they don't touch the pan. Uh, it's a little bit long, okay. Now, I saw a couple of different, I was researching this, how to do this uh, on the internet. And I saw lots of different things. I saw one person I thought was interesting. She wrapped the carrots up in sheets of nori or seaweed, like you get for sushi. Um, I don't have any. I'm going to use kelp granules. I'm going to use a combination of these kelp granules and this toasted sesame and seaweed. I'm going to sprinkle it on top of the carrots, both of them. I'm going to turn them over and do the same thing. I'm going to salt on the other side. It's all righty. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to top them with salt until they're buried. This is just a cheap box of coarse granular salt just buried in there. I'll show you. And now I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 for 90 minutes. Um, yeah, I'll be back with the start of the hot dog recipe. Okay, now for the hot dogs. I took two carrots and I peeled them into as close to a hot dog shape as I could get them and I uh, boiled them for about, I don't know, eight minutes uh, until they got soft and like I stab them with a fork and they felt like they had the you know the resistance of a resilience of an actual hot dog. Um, so let this sit there for a second. And now I'm going to whisk together. In here already is a quarter cup of water. I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce or tamari or liquid aminos. It's all really the same stuff. Oops. I'm going to add a tablespoon of rice vinegar. I'm going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil. Seems like a lot, but I'm doing it. I'm going to add just half a, tea, half a tablespoon, I mean, of apple cider vinegar. I don't think any of this is super critical. It's just a marinade. By the way, marinade and marinate or two different words, put the D and the T. Marinade is what I'm put it, what I put it in. Marinate is what I do with it. I see people uh, use those words interchangeably and they are not. Marinade is a noun, marinate is a verb. Um, <laughs> I'm obviously an old grammar Nazi. Um, all right, liquid smoke. I like to be careful with this stuff. I think it gets nasty really quick. This is just a uh, Col Colgan liquid smoke. This, this is mesquite. They have hickory ones and yeah, they're tricky. But it's just a marinade and hot dogs have that smoky flavor. So I'm going uh, to put in like, I don't know, there's three dashes of liquid smoke. And now I'm going to add, I'm going to add about a teaspoon each of onion powder. This is actually garlic powder and then granulated onion, which is the same thing as onion powder, really. I'm going to go with about a teaspoon of each of those things. I'm going to whisk that together. And then I'm going to let my hot dogs sit in this in the fridge overnight. I might have to spin them a few times to get them covered. 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do to make sure they're covered? I want to add just enough water to this to cover, make sure they're covered. I don't have to go in there and do anything to them. All right. So I added probably, I don't know how much, a yeah, quarter tables, a quarter a cup or so of uh, water, just so that they're totally immersed in this stuff. I'm going to cover it up, and I'm going to put it in the fridge overnight. And I'm going to fry them up tomorrow, and we'll see how they turn out. Okay, I'm back. Um, because of my illness, I did not press record for this next part of the video, but what I did was I took them out of the oven, uh, and they were completely encrusted in salt. I have to show you that. I took them out of there. I sliced them up as thinly as I could, uh, and then I made a marinade that consisted of a tablespoon of red miso, uh, a tablespoon, actually two tablespoons of olive oil, a cup, about a teaspoon of liquid uh, smoke, half a teaspoon of cider vinegar, and about a teaspoon each of this kelp granules and this um, sesame seed and um, seaweed sprinkle stuff. And I put them in a Ziploc bag and mushed them all around. In fact, let me get that bag and show you. Voila. So in this bag is my thinly sliced carrots, all three of them, in, the, in this marinade, in this bag, which I'm going to let roll up like this. I'm just going to leave this in the fridge, like so, for two days. And I'm actually hoping that this, these things gave this marinade a dark color. I'm hoping the dark color doesn't totally infuse the carrots. That would be a bummer because then they would lose that bright orange of the locks, and I would be sad, but we'll see. Okay, here we are. I let the hot dogs uh, marinate uh, for two days, and same with the lox. Uh, and this is the taste test. I have not tasted things yet, so pardon me. I'm going to just take big bites of these things, and I'll give you a review. Uh, I'm a mustard and onion girl, so I'm going to try this hot dog made from a carrot. doesn't really taste like anything. It's a little bit harder than a hot dog would be. I'll take another bite, pardon me. Hmm. It's not bad. It doesn't taste like much. It's a certainly, I think a veggie dog, <clears throat> for my money, is better. It's just a carrot, so it's got zero calories. Visually, it looks exactly like a hot dog. Nobody would guess, um, based on the visual, that's not a hot dog. All right, now we're on to this smoked salmon. Mmm, all right, well, I like, um, this is all the works on here. This is cream, tofu, vegan cream cheese, and uh, tomato, capers, red onions, dill, Salt and pepper and some lemon. This is going to be a messier bite, so bear with me. Wow. It looks pretty cool. Let me see if I can get a bite that's got everything on it. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The flavor's not that strong. Let me just try a piece naked. Doesn't taste like a carrot, but I don't know. Again, it's sort of innocuous. It looks visually, it's kind of cool. It does have a, it has a more a subtle flavor. That's what I couldn't taste over the mustard and onion. Maybe I should just taste a piece also naked and see what I get. Um, just naked carrot with less of this stuff on there. Pardon my mess I'm making. Yeah, it's just, I think, sort of a, it doesn't have a strong flavor, that's all I can say. And this, I'm going to take another bite of this, see what I have to say about it. Again, I'm making a huge mess, I apologize. I think it's more of a novelty. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes pretty. I mean, whatever taste it has isn't unpleasant. 
but it's a lot of work uh, for something that isn't really doesn't have a salmony taste. But all right. Um, yeah. So my review is. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still sick. With all the accoutrement, um, these these carrot replacements, the carrot hot dog and the carrot locks, um, they're just kind of I think an emotional <laughs> crutch more than something that actually brings flavor. They visually work. And it's sort of a fun novelty, and I don't think I would do it again, though. I, I actually like veggie dogs, so I think I prefer to have a veggie dog than a carrot dog. And, uh, yeah, so there. Not, uh, not bad, but not overwhelmingly exciting. And that is that. And that is my episode today of vegan carrot smoked salmon, or lox, and vegan carrot hot dogs. My name is Christina Lees. This is delightful, delicious, to lovely. Delightful, delicious, to lovely. Thanks for coming. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I don't, uh, by the way, I don't discourage you guys trying these. Um, they're sort of fun. It's a, it's a fun thing more than, like I said, it's a novelty. Anyway, uh, please subscribe. And uh, until next time, thanks. <laughs>